Coromandel Star, May edition, 1989. Ideas for an ideal city. A new and exciting movement has taken root in this slow-changing metropolis. Exnora International. This is not a cultural organization, nor is it a political one. Certainly, however, it is an association for ideas and suggestions which are excellent, noble, and radical. By piecing the first two letters of the three expressions was Exnora born, the brainchild of M. B. Nirmal, the enterprising senior manager of the Indian Overseas Bank. Exnora was conceived as a result of request from the public to adopt civic changes in the city on the lines of some of the developed nations. With the International Secretariat in Madras and Nirmal as its president, Exnora has a dynamic group of non-resident Indians, former NRIs, Indian citizens who have travelled abroad at least once and those with a deep sense of civic consciousness as its members. Says Nirmal, the main aim of Exnora is to develop a team culture and work as teammates to help India emerge as a progressive country in every sphere. The association will have chapters in all our cities and in several overseas countries. A chapter requires at least 15 members to get cracking. The ideas emerging at brainstorming sessions to be held every fortnight will be conveyed to the department heads of the respective governments for scrutiny. According to Nirmal, the responsibility should be shared equally by the public as well as the authorities. We can help in so many little ways like maintaining clean garbage disposable bins in every locality rather than depend on the corporation for it. But Exnora's operations are also directed towards generating the active cooperation of the civic authorities. Each Exnora chapter's fortnightly sessions will aim at developing civic consciousness in its own area. Besides, the chapter will adopt a public service project. In Madras itself, four chapters, Tinagar, Ananagar, Adayar and a central club have already been formed. The Tinagar chapter will take up animal welfare. Shankar Das, who has a doctorate from an American university, will head it. With R. Ram at the helm, the Ananagar chapter will concentrate on developing leadership qualities in students. Punitha Sri Mahesan, who is in charge of the Adair chapter, will direct community service operations. Within months of it being born, Exnora has generated much interest. Nirmal has received responses from Salem and Coimbatore and even from across own shores. For instance, Dubai requests have come for forming chapters. Exnora chapters will also promote junior Exnora clubs in schools and youth Exnora clubs in colleges in their respective areas. The collective suggestions of the various chapters will be brought out in a bulletin form called Think a Periodical Idea is also planned. The first batch of ideas from Metropolitan Midras has already come in. One of those concerns the cleaning up of the ever piling garbage of Kotaman Chavadi. The corporation lorries were finding it difficult to clear the garbage because of the traffic congestion created by vegetable laden lorries entering the bazaar. When the corporation authorities tried to clear the garbage by barring the lorries from entering the market, it resulted in a strike by lorry drivers and stinking filth in Kotavan Javadi. Exnora has come up with the most practical suggestion. The corporation lorries need not go inside the bazaar, instead the vegetable lorries on their way out of the market can pick up the garbage with the cooperation of the various vegetable vendors and the lorry owners. Whether the drivers will agree to pick up the garbage in the same lorries in which they carry vegetables remains to be seen. Another proposal related to the issue of identity cards for the slum dwellers. In order to restrict the arbitrary expansion of slums, dwellers can be issued with ID cards so that anyone without these cards can be clearly identified after the deadline and their settlement can be checked and non-card holders evicted successfully. One suggestion sure to thrill housewives is for arranging gas filling stations similar to petrol bunks in addition to the existing system of delivering gas cylinders at once those steps. Trucks carrying liquid petroleum gas can fill the cylinders bought by the customers in various urban areas. 
metropolitan cities like Madras should be provided with adequate land about 10 km from the city limits earmarked exclusively for sports activities such as Exnora. A group of coaches for each sports discipline may be deployed through sponsorship from private companies. A cheap mode of transport can be arranged especially for children and youth to visit the sports village. A novel scheme to rehabilitate cattle owners and to clear the canal of the city roads devised by Exnora is to set up a milk colony and allotting small tenements with cowsheds for each cattle owner. The colony could have schools and shopping complexes. Avin could arrange to buy milk from them. A number of people have been victims of the callousness of auto rickshaw drivers, especially during emergencies. When they need urgent medical attention, introduction of three-wheeler ambulances as suggested by Exnora will definitely decrease dependency on auto rickshaws. Proposal to overcome pollution menace. The common problem, slum clearance, mobile court for civic offenses, reckless felling of trees, quick and painless methods of animal slaughter, and dealing with other civic problems have been listed for official consideration. The success of Exnora's efforts depends not only on its members and the government authorities, but also on active public cooperation. Anyone can be a member of Exnora. Instead of seeking a membership fee, it merely exhorts its members to give ideas and suggestions, says Nirmal. Exnora hopes to transform time-tested as well as new foreign technological systems. Ironically, the members of Exnora will be called Bharat.